so hello everyone uh, it's muhammad ragab i'm working as a postdoctoral research fellow in the university of southampton uk and along with my team in southampton university and uh, perkwick university of london i'm presenting this work unlocking the potential of health data with decentralized search in per personal health data stores uh, I'll uh, start with the obvious, and I think everyone in this room would agree that uh, health data is a forefront of our uh, digital lives. And uh, um. a very good example, a very good example was uh, the COVID-19. Uh, I think there was no exit without health data analytics guiding the way, right? And I would say also that uh, privacy uh, in the era of digital health is a crucial player. It's a key player in the uh, in the game. Uh, a good example is that, yes, we could use AI and LLMs for enhancing the healthcare domain, uh, but this always comes with privacy concerns. So we to provide good health data analytics, I think we need to integrate data from various resources, right? And various sources also. But the idea is, uh, the problem is, uh, when we do that, we find that data are residing in data silos, right? And there is also other complexities that the legal complexities to integrate data from various data silos and to get the consent from patients or users on their personal data, uh, personal data. And uh, you know what, there is, also, there is always like, you know, uh, public willingness from the people to share their personal data, their health data uh, for the good, but uh, they want to control their data. As long as they control their data, they know for with who they are sharing their personal health data, uh, uh, they are good to, to share their data. And for which purposes also, this is very important uh, aspect. So I would say that decentralizing health data is part of the solution. Uh, I'm not sure if how, how many of you knows or heard about solid technology. Good, okay. So uh, for uh, who didn't hear about Solid? Solid simply is a technology from uh, uh, like Tim Berners Lee, the inventor of the web. Uh, he said that, okay, let's fix the web, uh, decoupling the applications or the logic from the data. And uh, this happens like, you know, everyone will store his data in something called personal online data store or pod. And users will have the full control on their data. They choose with, for with which applications and with whom they want to share their data. And this happens uh, through something called ACLs or access control lists. You, you specify the web IDs or the web identifiers of, of applications and users you want to share your data with. And this decouples, as I said, the applications from the data that you have in your pod. And you store pretty much, you can store pretty much anything in your pod videos, data, structured data, unstructured data in your pod. And it's built on, it's based on fully interoperable standards such as RDF or resource description framework, non-RDF, it's also use linked data, it uses Sparkle query language and many, many more standards. So uh, it seems that decentralizing health data or decentralized personal data is uh, promising, but uh, we we have like solid technology, but we've never have like uh, the search. How can we search data? How how can we search our data that are residing in different health data stores? So the the there was no option to do that, and there is also complexities of how can we navigate or how can we search data that have different access specifications. We always have. I can share my data with my doctor, but I will not. I, I am not eager to share it with my friends. For example, health data. So uh, this solution requires navigating complex access control specifications, and it also would require in, uh, building and maintaining distributed indexes inside the uh, personal health data stores. And that's why we jumped in with the Espresso project. Espresso project is a research project, project between uh, uh, Southampton University in UK and Birkbeck University in London. 
And uh, in this project, we are aiming to uh, provide decentralized search over personal online data source, uh, the case of SOLID. And uh, we take into consideration two things, two important things, that the distributed nature of personal data stores, they are not inside one data store. It could be distributed elsewhere, anywhere. And various access control constraints, you know, people have different access controls and applications have different access controls on data, right, in our pods. Brilliant. And this is very high uh, uh, architecture of Espresso. Uh, three things to remember. We have overlay network of interconnected uh, or that interconnect solid servers, okay, that will contain our pods, our personal online data stores. And it's always, uh, it's always, uh, it is it is also used for routing and propagating queries to those solid servers when we search. And there is pod indexing app. It's a solid app that we provide in Espresso that indexes the data inside the pod. And it's also, these indexes will be distributed. Each pod will in, have its own uh, index. And it's a ACL aware, meaning that it knows who and which application can access my data. Okay, and the third application is pod searching application. It looks into the indexes, it can search the indexes, and it, uh, according to the web IDs, who can access the data, it retrieves the search results. Okay, since we are in the health day, we are providing a motivating scenario <laughs> from the health data. So imagine that we have Alice, who is working on a uh, a medical research institute in UK, for example, and she wants to study the relationship between activity levels and post-operation recovery time. So she's interested on patients uh, based on their sur surgical uh, history in medical records. And when she searched, she looked into medical records that reside, for example, in NHS servers, the National Health Service in UK. And she wants also, this could be possible before SOLID. You know, we have patients' data inside the servers and we can't search them. But how can we reach, for example, the fitness data of, 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 of patients that they store it, like it's in their wearable devices. Even if they store it in their personal pods, we cannot reach this data. How can we integrate this data while searching? And this is very interesting uh, scenario. Uh, experiments, like as a proof of concept, we just like, you know, deploy three salt servers. We, we have a, a very big study that we will pub we, we publish and uh, we will present in ICWI, ICWE in Finland soon. Uh, we deploy it in thousands of pods, but for as a proof of concept of these scenarios that I presented earlier, we use three solid servers and the pod deployment, we established nine pods of, uh, that represent the NHS that will include the, uh, uh, the patient records. And we have also nine pods for uh, personal fitness data stores. And the data pu population, the NHS hosted uh, populated medical histories from uh, a data set from Kaggle, and also uh, procedures data with fire ontology. It's a standard ontology for describing uh, uh, like medical surgeries and more, more uh, else. Personal pods populated with Fitbit uh, fitness tracker data set. So we have data set for fitness on the personal data, uh, personal data stores, and we have medical records in, in, in fire ontology in the NHS pods. And the experiments design, we did three different keywords, we, uh, three different uh, searches. The keyword search, three keywords search, and we did Sparkle queries when we ask about who did uh, this surgery recently and what was their fitness activity after the surgery, right? And uh, we do also combine the queries when we do the tar this Sparkle queries targeting only the people who we find in their medical GB records they that they have, for example, appendectomy surgery recently. The results show that uh, the, uh, the keyword search gave very short run times attributed to the data indexing that we do in our pods. And we found that the Sparkle query execution, this uh, uh, queue here, uh, like, you know, take, take 
much longer times. This was because of loading and querying RDF files with Communica. It needs to load the data and then parse them, then query them. And the combined queries, we find that they have significant reduction in Sparkle search time because we target only the people who have, we find using the keyword search, they have, for example, appendectomy mentioned in their, uh, uh, in their um, uh, indexed uh, keyword search. So the next step, steps, uh, Espresso is not meant to be only for health data. We can search any personal data, right? Uh, so we are aiming to improve our indexing mechanisms, reduce the size of it, improve the performance, provide RDF indexing in, indexing in the future. Uh, we provide proper metadata that would uh, optimize the routing and the navigation of sending the queries instead of fluid the overlay network to send it to every single personal online data store. We can direct it direct it to the relevant servers only. And we introduce ranking. We will be able to introduce ranking mechanisms. We also are scenario based driven uh, project. Uh, so like any any feedback or any scenarios from the health day would be welcome. And uh, as a conclusion, I would say that in Espresso, we aim to empower decentralized search across personal data stores. We focus on scenarios, as I have mentioned, starting with the health and well-being uh, as a starting point. Uh, Espresso, I would say that Espresso is a step towards uh, secure private health data search. And Espresso considers varying access rights while searching. So that's, the, that's me. Thanks for having me today.